Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video, I'm bringing you another haul, which unheard of. I feel like I haven't sat and done a haul in so long. Other than my prom, I called the other Before that, I don't remember the last time I sat and done a haul. It's been ages, but a lot of you have been requesting some hauls. So I'm back with another one today. We've got a big, fat, juicy, pretty little thing haul. I've got two of these bags full of just autumn, winter, vibey clothes. I'm so excited for it. I've got my wardrobe at the minute. It is very autumn, winter anyway. Mainly just hoodies, I'm not gonna lie. I've got loads of bits in here. I actually can't remember what I ordered. I just know there's quite a lot. So I'm gonna get through it quickly. I've stocked up on jackets because I don't really have any like autumn jackets. I've just got puffer coats, which obviously for when it's freezing. But yeah, I've got two bags full. I will link everything down below for you guys in case you wanna go shop it. But yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it. So if you do enjoy, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. And let's get started because we've got loads to get through. Okay, starting off strong, we've got some leopard print jeans. I did already own a pair of leopard print jeans. I'm pretty sure they were these exact ones, but they're from like the regular section. They were slightly too short on me, like literally on my ankle. And I don't like when things like that, I like them to be longer than my ankle. So I ended up giving those ones away. And then I've ordered these ones. These are from the tall section. They do look really long, but they're like a frayed hem at the bottom. So realistically, if they're too long, I can just cut them myself. But I feel like I just needed a pair of leopard print jeans. I don't think leopard print's done yet. I really don't. I think like some basic, like, like a basic gray hoodie or a gray jumper, red bag is such a vibe. So I've got these in a size 10. I love the color of them because they're not too brown. You know how some leopard print is literally like a goldeny brown. These aren't like that. They're more of like a cool neutral sort of brown which definitely is more my vibe. Goes with my hair more. I feel like when I wear brown, it sort of clashes with my hair. So I'm happy these are like a little bit cooler toned and they're just sick in there. Like that is a sick leopard print pattern. So I'm excited to style those. They are very long. So realistically, I am going to have to cut some off, but that's fine. I got them in a size 10. And I'm so happy to finally have a new pair of leopard print jeans because ever since not having mobile ones anymore, I have missed them. I'm not going to lie, I've missed them. I did order quite a few pairs of jeans, actually. This next pair that I picked up, I've been seeing these all over my TikTok, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to get these. I'm going to try them on and hopefully I look cool in them. I don't know if it's going to give the right vibe or if I'm going to look a bit strange. I love this colour grey and they're just like a wide leg denim pair of jeans. Pretty little thing, honestly, do some of the best quality jeans. And they're so affordable as well. These are pretty much identical to the colour jeans that I've got on right now. <laughs> but obviously they've got the crushes on, so they're a little bit more interesting. And again, just like a basic top pink trainers. I feel like there's so many ways you can style these. You can dress them up, dress them down. But they're just like a really nice, good quality pair of jeans. And again, I got them in a size 10. I used to always get my jeans in a size 12 because I wanted my jeans to be oversized. But recently I've started going back to a 10 because my jeans all seem to be too big. And I used to like them really baggy, but now I'm just like, I just want my jeans to fit. These ones that I've got are now from Zara. And they're a 12 and they're just like too big for me. So I decided it was time to invest in some jeans that actually fit me properly. So hopefully them two pairs do. I've got another pair of jeans here. I'm not gonna lie, I have had these before, but I probably gave them away because I have wardrobe clear outs that often because I get so many clothes, which I'm so lucky to have. I don't wanna like have too many just for the sake of it, but since not having these jeans, I have missed them. But I'm pretty sure I got them in a 12 last time as well and they were too big. So this time I've ordered them in a 10. I wanted to get the matching jacket as well that I had before, but it sold out. But again, just a straight leg pair of jeans, but they're kind of like grey, bobbly. Do you know what I mean? But again, quality is really nice. They're a little bit different as well because of the texture of them. I'm going out for my birthday next week, actually. I could wear these. These are a potential. I just like a pair of jeans where they're still jeans, but they're a little bit different. Like there's a little bit more going on. So you can dress them up a little bit more. Or you, again, you can wear like a hoodie with them and dress them down. I mean, my jeans drawer is actually full right now so i don't know where i think i want to be putting them but we'll find room oh my god i've got another pair of jeans am i actually okay i'm sure i've literally got these jeans i don't know where they are though but to be fair these ones are a little bit more green than the ones that i've got so i've got a khaki pair of jeans now i've got a green pair i mean they are basically the same <laughs> i'm not gonna lie just slightly more green but these are sick straight leg pair of jeans i'm not gonna keep like going into detail about the jeans they're all just straight leg all really nice quality and all size 10 but i do think the khaki of like a gray I keep saying grey, but grey just goes with everything. I mean, like a grey off the shoulder jumper, which I might have in this bag. If not, it's in another bag. Will look so nice. Four pairs of jeans. That's a little bit excessive, isn't it? Right, next up. I can't remember what I got this for, but I got this jumper for a specific pair of trousers, but I can't remember what they were. But I just got this white off the shoulder, like slouchy oversized jumper. I've got this in grey, which I think would look sick with the green jeans. But I just thought the white was cute. It's going to make me look tanned, even though I don't feel tanned anymore. I feel like I stepped off the plane and my holiday tan is literally gone. But it's literally just a basic. Like there's nothing much to say about it. It's really soft and fleecy inside, but I just love the off the shoulder, cute, autumn vibes. And I got that in a medium and it's from the shape section. But I've said this before, the shape section, it sounds scary. Like I'm not a shape gal. I don't have curves, unfortunately, but the shape section still works. Like you can dabble in and it'll still be fine. I don't know if I should have got this in a small. But, I mean, we'll try it on and we'll see. She's cute and she's basic and I'm sure it was pretty cheap as well to be fair 
Oh, this is cute. This is so cute. I mean, I already own about 3,000 grey hoodies, but one more won't hurt. It is literally completely plain from the front. Um, it's just like a really nice grey marl hoodie. It's got the drawstrings around the neck. Is that what they're called? Drawstrings around your neck? I don't know. I'm not sure. But then at the back, it's got this really cute bubble. No, what's it called? 3, 3D? I can't remember, but it's like the bubble texture. And it just says, always chill club in this really cute oh it's puff print that's what it's called puff print in this really cute baby pink color i just think that's the cutest thing ever i did get it in a small because it literally says oversized on the tag it's called the ice gray chill club puff print oversized hoodie i've ordered a hoodie from this not range but like the oversized hoodies before in a medium and they've been huge so i've learnt my lesson size down if you're going to get this basically so i got it in a small and it looks like it's going to be the perfect amount of oversized but the reason that i got it was for this little pink print on the back because i've got the cutest pink trainers let me show you actually look look at that for a combo imagine if these gray jeans what a cute outfit i love prt hoodies as well they're always really nice quality always really fleecy and soft inside and they're really affordable as well like compared to some other hoodies that you buy online these are actually like good quality for the price so can't complain and i love the pink and it was the pink that made me buy them yeah it's the 6th of september getting in the autumn mood wearing my knitted jumpers I've got to stand and try all this on and it's 25 degrees outside. What is that all about? I'm like 90% sure I've had this jacket before, but I didn't wear it, so I gave it away. Don't know what I think is different this time, but I'm thinking like a hoodie underneath. It's called the Washed Faux Leather Oversized Seam Detail Jacket. And it's just like a faux leather, almost like a biker kind of jacket. I don't know if this is going to give the vibe that I want it to give. There's some really sick bomber jackets on PLT. They're literally called like the Oversized Faux Leather Bomber Jacket, but they're only available in plus at the minute. So I'm hoping that Pretty Little Thing bring them to like the standard range because i don't know if this is going to give what i want it to give i'm not 100 percent sure i'm going to try it and i'm going to see i do love it it looks sick i just don't know if i can pull it off but i really want like a really puffy but kind of cropped bomber jacket but i can't seem to find one of those online at the minute so i thought i'd try this i love the color of it it's like a washed beigey sort of color i think like a nice chunky hoodie underneath would be nice so we're going to try and style that and hopefully we can but if not then i suppose i'll be giving it away again <laughs> right the last thing in this first bag oh this is sick I got this blue like bubble puffer bag just for like an everyday outfit like if i'm wearing a plain hoodie and jeans which is all i think to be wearing at the minute or even this jumper and jeans i think like a sick bag like this can jazz up your outfit so much oh my god i love this i had it in cream as well which i was tempted to get but i decided to go for the blue because i don't have any blue bags and i feel like i need a blue bag in my life well i'll say that i've got that but it's denim so it's kind of hard to pair with things but this i feel like i'm gonna wear all the time it's a decent size inside as well so you're gonna fit quite a lot in it but how cute is that and like I said, they've got it in cream, so if you're a neutral kind of gal, you can get the cream one. But this is so cool. Never seen a bag like that before. I'm buzzing to have that. All right, on to bag number two. We do have another pair of jeans, but I've got a matching top to it. This is a co-ord. This is the reason I got this pair of jeans. I've got this like vintagey wash denim wide leg jeans. They're not as thick as the other ones. We also have that like a lot of a soft, what I'm trying to say, they're more of a soft material. Like they're not as structured. They are really, really soft. They're gonna be really comfy to wear. I got them in a 10. They're called the slouchy wide leg jean and they're literally just exactly what they say. There's nothing on them. They are really plain. But I do like the color of the wash that the denim is. Hopefully they'll fit how I want them to fit, fit it on the waist, but still slouchy. So they're the jeans. And then it came with this matching top. Me and Molly have been eyeing this up. So Molly, if you want to share this, we can share. The jeans are going to be very long on you though. That's the only thing. But this is the matching top. My guesses of trends this year is going to be double denim. There's going to be a lot of double denim. And there's also going to be a lot of like lemon yellow. I've ordered a lemon yellow jumper. You'll see that on my TikTok. Go follow my TikTok if you don't already. If you want to see like cool autumn winter pieces that I won't be showing on YouTube. Go follow my TikTok and they'll all be on there. But I feel like this shirt is giving cool vibes. It's like a v-neck, which is really nice. I think like baby pink bag, red bag, like a pop of colour on the bag. And it's just because into like a wide sleeve, oversized denim shirt. You can't undo it or anything. It is just v-neck at the front. But I love the pockets. Love the colour denim that it is. I'm excited to try this on. Again, got this in a 10 because it already says oversized. And I feel like it's going to be like the perfect amount of oversized. I'm excited for that. I think it's going to be really cute. Is it going to be a love or hate? I think like some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. But that's the whole thing about double denim. It is like a marmite situation. But I think it's sick. I feel like this is one of my favourite things from the whole video. Here's that off the shoulder jumper in the grey. I love this wash of grey. This is like the perfect grey to me. It's a little bit darker than this grey. But I do think I prefer this. Again, got this in a medium exactly the same size as the other one. I'm hoping that I shouldn't have got a small. I'm hoping that they're going to fit in a medium. But again really fluffy and cozy on the inside from the shape section so basic but the off the shoulder makes it cute do you know what i mean that is the vibes 
Oopsies, I've ordered another grey hoodie. I don't think I meant to order this. I think I meant to take this one off and add the pink one on, but I don't think I took this one off, so. We've now got two grey hoodies. This one's just the universal puff print at the back, and then just completely plain at the front. Nothing too exciting, just a basic grey hoodie that's gonna go under so much. It's got a really nice hood. Like, it's got no um, drawstrings, and I actually prefer when things don't have drawstrings. I think they look more expensive like that. I just didn't mean to order two plain grey hoodies, but here we are. You can never have too many, I suppose. And then I picked up this jacket. I feel like this would look so nice with a chunky grey hoodie underneath. I think that was the vision for this. I don't really know what trousers, but we'll sort something out. It's just like a khaki... Would you say it's a bomber jacket? Biker jacket? Distressed look, zip boxy trim detailed biker jacket in brown i got this in a 10 because it said oversized i'm glad that i stuck with a 10 because it does look really big but it's got like a collar on it i don't think i'd wear it done up there i'm not gonna lie i'll just wear it undone with like a chunky hoodie underneath i like these string details they've got going on on the pockets and then it just gives into like a wide sleeve sort of moment i don't know if i'll wear this again these style of jackets i don't know if they suit me i feel like i tried maybe a year ago or something and i didn't really like them but I really want to wear them. I really want to be that cool person that can wear these like dad jackets. So I'm going to try. I think with a grey hoodie underneath could be a vibe. Fingers crossed it is. But it feels really nice quality. It doesn't smell of fish. You know when sometimes you can order like faux leather things and they smell fishy? It doesn't smell so we love that. But she's cute. I just hope I can pull it off. I need some like really nice jackets for autumn. That is the goal. I don't have any. So now I've got two that I can potentially try and wear. And fingers crossed I can pull them off. I feel like it wouldn't be a Shannon Mooney haul without a tracksuit in there. So I obviously had to pick up at least one. I've got this really cute crew neck tracksuit from PRT. Look at the print on it. It says pretty little thing, but like in this like 3D, it's almost like puff print, but on a jumper. And it's so cool. I love how subtle it is as well, because it's like, I don't really want something that says pretty little thing, like in big, bold black letters across the front. But I like when it's really subtle like this. Doing what it needs to do, saying what it needs to say without being in your face. I got this in a small, because it said oversized. But like a small was the right decision. We'll try it and we'll see. But again, it's really nice and soft and fleecy on the inside. That's one thing I will say about PLT tracks, is they're always soft, always fleecy, always cosy on the inside. And I just love the baby pink. You could also get this in red, which I did consider, but I feel like I'm more of a pink gal than a red, so. And then I did get the matching joggers. They're just exactly the same. I love that they're a wide leg jogger. And they've also got the same print. Like the 3D puff print on the leg as well. But these are so nice. Such good quality. So soft. Fleecy on the inside. We've got a drawstring waist. I did get these in a small as well. Because PLT, if they say oversized, you don't need to size up. You don't even need to stick to your own size. I would say size down. Because I've ordered so many tracksuits from PLT in a medium. And they're just so big. So I got this in a small. So hopefully I try it on and it fits how I want it to fit. And hopefully I shouldn't have got a medium. But it's so cute. Got pockets as well. There's nothing more annoying than having a pair of joggers that doesn't have pockets and PLT always provides the pockets. But how cute is that tracksuit? Just for like everyday life. Dog walks, food shops, that kind of thing. Because I've got a lot of more expensive tracksuits, but I don't want to ruin them. Not that I want to ruin this, but because it's a lot more affordable. It's not as deep. Do you know what I mean? So that is the last thing that I picked up in my autumn winter pretty little thing haul. I am now about to try it all on and try not to pass out in this heat, but we're gonna be fine, we're gonna power through. You would have already seen all the bits on, so let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. But yeah, I will link everything down below for you guys in case you wanna go shop any of the bits that I picked up. I feel like it's a very successful pretty little thing haul, I'm not gonna lie, especially for autumn winter. It's kind of like the basics, but the basics that you can wear so many different ways, add so many different things to it, you can get put different hoodies, different tops, different trousers. There's just so many ways you can style all these bits individually. But yeah, I literally love everything that I've got, so. I hope you do too. Well, that is it. That is everything that I picked up. A pretty little thing. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more. And I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye.